Now to O.J. Simpson's estate, a new questions after his death about whether the families of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman will get the millions of dollars they're owed. Ariel Reschiff is here with the details. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, Michael. O.J. Simpson in death could prove as polarizing as he was in life. A battle is brewing over his estate with Simpson's longtime attorney vowing to fight a payout of more than $33 million in damages to the families of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman. This morning, a looming showdown over disgraced former football star O.J. Simpson's estate. Simpson died last week after a battle with prostate cancer. His last will and testament filed in a Nevada court on Friday. His estate placed in a newly created trust with his longtime attorney, Malcolm Laverne, as executor, who says he does not know how much the estate is worth. Personal belongings, uh, anything they had like that is going to be part of the estate. So there will be, I will be doing inventorying and trying to see what is out there. We, the jury in the above entitled action, find the defendant Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of the crime of murder. Simpson was infamously acquitted in a criminal trial for the brutal 1994 stabbing deaths of his ex-wife Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ron Goldman. But he wasn't off the legal hook. In 1997, Simpson was found liable for the slayings in a civil suit and ordered to pay more than $33 million in damages. But Simpson only paid a fraction. Now the Goldmans want what they're legally owed. Ron Goldman's sister Kim telling ABC News, our family will follow the law as we always have. We will continue to do our due diligence. But the executor of Simpson's estate defiant, saying it's my hope that the Goldmans get zero, suggesting the estate needs to take care of other things first, including his former client's substantial IRS debt. There's going to be a notice to creditors. When those claims come in, we will deal with them and they'll be in a pecking order. O.J. Simpson had an estimated net worth of upwards of $10 million in the early 90s. But after his fall from grace, mostly lived off of his NFL pension and actors union residuals, reportedly earning $400,000 a year. Uncle Sam is going to be first, right? And depending on the assets, if he owed taxes, it could be a situation where after the taxes are paid, there's next to nothing left. So then if you're the Goldman's, you have to calculate, is this even worth doing? So with Simpson's assets set to go through the Nevada court probate process, the Brown and Goldman families could be paid a piece of whatever Simpson left behind. Again, his executor says the value of his estate is unclear. Michael. All right, thank you for that, Ariel. Let's bring in our chief legal and let's bring him back, Dan Abrams. And Dan, according to the Goldman family, they've only received 132,000 out of the $33 million they were awarded. But does OJ's death make it easier for them or more difficult for them to get the rest of that money? It's going to be easier uh, because everything's going to be laid out. There's going to be a financial value on anything and everything that he owned. So even stuff he was using, for example, in his life will now be valued and assessed. And as a result, it's going to be slightly easier to figure out exactly how much he was worth. Well, you heard the lawyer said, I hope the Goldman family gets nothing. Um, they're the long list of creditors. How do they decide who gets paid first? Yeah, it's a tricky process, and it goes state by state. It starts with where he lived, which is Nevada. Now, if he has property or assets in other states, there'll be separate legal issues in those states. But creditors definitely start, meaning if he says, I wanted my family to get X, Y, or Z, they're definitely going to be near the bottom compared to the creditors, meaning tax uh, Uncle Sam, uh, Uncle Sam yep. and the Goldmans, et cetera. And that would be the legal question is who comes after Uncle Sam in terms of the creditors and the executor, while he can say, I want to try and make sure they don't, it's not going to necessarily be up to him when it comes to the debts. That'll be up to courts. But the question there, how much are the Goldman's going to fight this? That's going to be the ultimate question. Is it worth the fight? Right. All right. Thank you for double duty with us All today. Right. Yeah, I appreciate that.